Hey everyone, so we are out on a ground mount service call. This isn't a system that we installed, but this customer has been having issues with one of their Fronius inverters. Now Fronius is a pretty good brand. Um, we haven't really installed them, but whenever we service them, they definitely have lasted more than their uh, manufactured warranty. This system is 12 years old, and these two inverters, which are both Fronius IG pluses and pushing over seven kilowatts each because the array is over 16 kilowatts. This is a pretty big solar system, 72, 245 watt panels. Like that's, it's massive. Like if we just look at how big this is, but this isn't about the solar system. It's about the technology that Fronius was doing early on within their inverters that for some reason we moved away from and their inverters were designed for repairability. And that's something I really feel we need to re-implement in the renewable industry so that way this equipment can be serviced rather than just completely replaced. So if we get in here real close, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So we have some of the transformer equipment up here that's converting that DC energy into AC. And if you get in, you can see that they're all on push pins. It's all on a push pin. All these main components that are most likely to fail are on push pins. And that's so they can be replaced if a failure occurs. And that's something you just don't see anymore. So it, it is kind of frustrating that we moved away from a repairable type of product. Mind you, I don't even think these parts are available. We're gonna look, but more than likely, we're gonna end up just installing a Tesla solar inverter and replacing both of these units with two Tesla solar inverters because they both are showing significant signs of overheating. And that's some of the, the mineral oils that are in here to, to protect the components are, it's getting so hot, it's, it's dripping down and creating shorts at certain intervals of the day. And that then in turn shuts off the inverter so it stops producing power. So that's obviously no good. And I've seen units, not Fronius, but I've seen other manufacturers where that drippage caused the bat, caused the internals to catch on fire. Um, luckily, given most of the designs are airtight, that fire burns through its oxygen and then it, it extinguishes itself. So there's no big concern with that. But you know, these units being outside with all the vegetation we have, it's probably a good idea just to replace them with something that has slightly better technology and is going to last another 12 and a half, 15 years. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with them. They're both working. It's just at peak performance of the day, due to the heat and the dripping of this mineral oil, they shut off and then they, they stop working for a couple hours and then they turn back on because they've cooled down and then the process repeats itself over and over and that's just no good. So if you live in our area, Southern California, and you're interested in you know, getting your solar system looked at, getting an inspection, or you need it serviced, and you can't find anybody, well, just call Pacific Sun Technologies. We're here to help you. We've serviced systems for the last 17 years we've been installing them, and then there's systems we didn't install, right? We, we wanna help you keep your investment running, because that's what you made. You made a great investment, and we wanna help you maintain that investment. So I uh, just wanted to go over this, and uh, hopefully you found it pretty helpful.